Bean, I went to the grocery store earlier today, hoping to pick you up from school, but only to receive the cold shoulder from you. You saw me, you heard me calling your name, and your friends even told you I was there. But instead of responding to me, you gave me a dirty look, said you didn't know me, and walked past me like I was a complete stranger. What was that supposed to mean? I seriously don't understand. What's so hard to understand about my attitude towards you? I thought I made it abundantly clear. Don't try to tell me. You're too stupid to know what I was implying when I acted the way I did. Stop pretending to be so naive. The thing is, you're just a worthless homemaker, and you're not even worthy of being my mother. <gasps> so that's what you truly think of me, huh? I can't believe such thoughts would even cross your mind. Tell me, what have I done to deserve this? And what's so wrong with being a homemaker? All I've ever wanted was to take care of our family, and I always try my best to do it. Save your sanctimonious act. Nobody's buying. Quit pretending to be this angelic mother willing to sacrifice everything for her son, and stop playing the part of a responsible caregiver when it's clear you're incapable. You're nothing more than a gold digger, leeching off my dad, and I have had enough of you, and we want you out of our lives. What? Why would you say something like that? Your words have pierced me deeply. I can't for the life of me understand what I could have possibly done to deserve such hurtful insults from you. You're just a 15-year-old boy, and it's disheartening to hear you speak so harshly. Yes, I've dedicated my time to taking care of our family at home, but that doesn't make me a freeloader off your dad's earnings. Household chores and responsibilities hold significance too, and I firmly believe that I contribute my fair share to our home. I deserve respect from you for the work I do. Oh please, don't act like doing household chores is some kind of big deal. All you're doing is just fulfilling the duties of a housekeeper. To me and my dad, you're nothing but a lowly maid. And it's truly disappointing and embarrassing to have a mother like you. Do you realize how humiliated I feel when someone asks me about your occupation? What should I even tell them? That you're our personal servant? Stop making a fool of yourself. You just make everyone around you feel sick and disgusted. Dean, please don't say such things to me. I know I'm not perfect. I genuinely strive to be the best mother for you and a loving wife to your dad. I wake up early every day to make breakfast for everyone. I do the laundry to ensure fresh and clean clothes for everyone. And I devote my time to maintaining a spotless home. I also carefully select the freshest ingredients from the supermarket to cook healthy and nourishing dinners for you and your dad. I'm not bragging, but I think I deserve some respect for all the work I do around the house. If you don't have anything nice to say, then I suggest you don't say anything at all. Whatever, even though you gave birth to me, Dad is the one who I take after. Dad's the best. He's handsome, intelligent, and successful. He's everything I could ever want to be. I want to be just like him. I want to be a successful businessman with a multi-million dollar company. I want to have women lining up just to be my wife. I know I can do it because I have dad's genes. He's the best role model a son could ask for. How can you say your dad is so great when he never spends any time with you? It's only me who always makes every effort to care for you and look after you. You? Don't make me laugh. You're just a sad excuse for a human being. You're not only ignorant and incompetent, but you're also too fat and ugly for your own good. It's a good thing that I don't inherit your fat, ugly genes, or else I'll end up being a complete loser like you. It's no wonder everyone treats you like dirt. You're just a hunk of lard who even has trouble walking around. Dean, you've crossed all boundaries, and it's absolutely unacceptable for you to speak to your mother in such a manner. I have never done anything to intentionally harm you. I am your mother, and I deserve respect. If there's even a shred of decency left in you, you will offer me an immediate apology. I can be a loving and nurturing mother, but don't forget, I can also transform into a fierce lioness when it comes to teaching my spoiled son a much-needed lesson in proper behavior. Huh. As if your meaningless threats could scare me. You're all talk and no bite. You don't even have a proper place in our family. You're just a joke. You're an ignorant stay-at-home mom whose brain is flooded with all the fat and grease that you can't even think straight anymore. I'm surprised that you haven't died of diabetes or something. If you did, it would be a huge relief for everyone because we won't have to refrain ourselves from throwing up whenever we look at you. Dean, you know what? Consider yourself grounded. Once you step foot in this house, I'll confiscate your phone and laptop. 
Prepare yourself for an increased share of household chores so you can finally grasp the amount of work I handle every single day. Pfft, <sighs> just who do you think you are exactly? The mistress of the household? Like I said, you're nothing but a lowly maid and you have no rights to order me around, asking me to do this and that. By the way, you're gonna be kicked out of the house soon enough, so you might want to watch your little filthy mouth when you talk to me. If you don't correct your behaviors, I'm gonna tell dad to punish you and force you to move out sooner. What do you think? Your choice to make. What do you mean by me being kicked out of the house? Why all of a sudden? Nicholas didn't tell me any of this. Of course dad hasn't told you yet. He's just biding his time until he can spring the divorce papers on you and introduce his new supermodel mistress, who will soon become his wife. I saw her picture. Man, she's drop dead gorgeous. What? So, Nicholas was cheating on me? I… I can't believe this. Are you saying this for real? Yeah, of course. I have no time for jokes. Dad has a good eye for hot girls. I'm so jealous of him. I wish I could get myself a hot chick like that. But it's just a matter of time until I inherit Dad's company and enormous fortune. When I become CEO, I'll have everything I aim for. Money, hot girls, and a high social status. People will be on their knees when I walk past them. I can't believe the kind of mindset you've adopted. It's truly shocking, Dean. I never raised you to be this kind of person. I'll be having a serious conversation with your dad about this matter. Let's see what he has to say about it. Oh, of course. Suit yourself. And while we're at it, don't even waste your time attempting to fight for custody. It's quite clear that I would never want to be under the care of someone as pitiful as you. Save yourself the trouble and accept the fact that you'll be left with nothing once dad divorces your sorry ass. Nicholas, do you have a minute to spare? I have something really important to ask you. What is it? What is it? Don't you know that you're not supposed to disturb me at this time? Well, I wouldn't have bothered you if it wasn't important. I know you're busy, but I thought this was something you needed to know. Something important? Well, that's a relief. I thought you were just going to waste my time with something trivial. What is it then? Just spill the beans. I don't have the whole day waiting for you. Our son, Dean, is behaving very strangely. When I went to pick him up from school, he blatantly ignored me and proceeded to hurl hurtful insults, calling me fat and ugly. But what's truly alarming is that he made shocking claims, stating that you're having an affair and planning to kick me out of the house. Is there any truth to what he said? Dean and I just texted recently, and I'm really confused right now. Our son told you that? <laughs> it's quite amusing, isn't it? Our son has apparently inherited the strength and assertiveness that runs in his father's veins. Just like his dad, he's becoming quite confident and expressing himself. Quite the remarkable trait. Wouldn't you agree? How could you glorify our son's disrespectful and spoiled behavior as strength and assertiveness? This is not how he's supposed to behave. At all. I've always instilled in our son the values of kindness, consideration, and compassion. But you? What have you been teaching him that has led him down this path? And as if that wasn't enough, why did he accuse you of having an extramarital affair? Did he tell the truth? I demand a clear explanation, Nicholas. First of all, let me make something clear. There's nothing wrong with what our son did and said to you. He's an adult now, and he's entitled to his own opinion. You can't just dictate to him what he can and can't do. After all, he's going to inherit my company one day and he needs to be strong and assertive in order to succeed. If you raise him to be a pushover like you, he'll be eaten alive in the real world. And second of all, of course, I'm cheating on you. Can't you see that our marriage is coming to an end? Are you too dumb or are you just trying to ignore the red flags? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right time to file for divorce. Wh what So you've been cheating on me this whole time? And now you want to divorce me? How do you think it's fair to me that you've been going behind my back and doing that sort of thing to me, your own wife? What's so surprising? I thought you knew this day would come sooner or later. I mean, have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and seen what a monster you've become? You've become nothing but a fat, stupid creature that I just want to kick in the butt. You're a disgrace to every woman on this earth, and you don't even deserve to be called a human being. What on earth are you talking about? You're completely disregarding all the hard work and effort I've put into this family. I've dedicated myself to taking care of all the household chores, ensuring that you and our son have a comfortable home, nutritious meals, and clean clothes every day. And for what? 
to be treated like a complete fool by you? I've reached my limit. If you want a divorce, then so be it. I no longer wish to deal with you or our son any longer. So you're just going to give up on Dean's custody without even fighting for it? What kind of a mother are you? You disgust me, Lillian. You always claim to be a good mother to our son. But in reality, you're just eager to cut him off from your life. I'm going to take a screenshot of this message and use it as a clear evidence of how you're abusing and neglecting your own son. It will be useful for me to reduce the alimony. I have to pay you after our divorce. <laughs> Nicholas, you are despicable and repulsive. I don't know when you became this way, but I am disgusted to have ever associated with you. I hope you rot in hell for what you did to me. Of course you would wish nothing but the worst for me, but I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But that's only going to happen in your dreams. I'm going to live a long, happy, and fulfilling life with my beautiful fiancé, Anastasia. She's going to give me beautiful and intelligent children, and they'll be great friends with Dean. Fiancé? So, you're already engaged to her? What is this supposed to mean? What's so hard to understand? I got down on one knee and proposed to her. That means we're engaged now. You're so dense that I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll save you the trouble and prepare the divorce papers myself. All you have to do is sign them and poof, we'll be officially divorced in no time. Hi, mom. How have you been doing all these years? Why are you calling me mom? Wait. Is that you, Dean? Why are you texting me all of a sudden? You didn't bother to check up on me for the last 10 years, but now you've decided to show up? What? Aren't you thrilled to hear from me? I thought you might be jumping with excitement to see my text. Why should I be thrilled to receive your text? After treating me like dirt and cutting off contact for a whole decade, there's no reason for me to welcome your presence back into my life. I've managed just fine without you or your dad, and I intend to keep it that way. Don't be so cruel. I know you can't cut me and dad off your life completely. I know you miss us getting back together and, and reuniting as a family, right? Don't try to play the victim here. You have no right to accuse me of being cruel when it was you who caused so much pain and turmoil. And let me make this clear. I'm perfectly capable of cutting you out of my life completely if that's what it takes for my own well-being. So don't even delude yourself into thinking that I miss the dysfunction and chaos of our so-called family. I have moved on, and I have no desire to reunite with you or be part of that toxic dynamic ever again. Are you seriously that cold-blooded? Well, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Then, look, the other day, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you on the front page of a magazine. It's as if some mysterious force has transformed you into a wildly successful businesswoman. I mean, according to the article I read, you're now the proud owner of a renowned chain of restaurants with branches spread all across the country. That is insane. How long did you plan to keep this a little secret from me and dad? If only we had known, we would have surely welcomed you back into our lives with open arms. Oh, really? And why should I bother telling you about what's happening in my life? You treated me like garbage, disowned me, mocked my appearance, and eagerly joined forces with dad to kick me out of the house. And now, when my life is finally starting to look up, you decide to welcome me back into your lives? How ridiculous! What is with that attitude of yours? Is this how you treat your own flesh and blood? Your long lost son? It's been a whole decade, and you're still clinging onto that ancient grudge against me and your husband. You're absolutely crazy, Lillian. I honestly expected better from you. Well, let me tell you something. You're mistaken. Whatever image you have of me, I assure you, I'm not that. I'm way worse than that. You can throw around words like petty or vindictive all you want, but remember this, I didn't forget, and I never will, what you and dad put me through. It's a permanent scar, a wound that will haunt me for the rest of my days. Actually, if given the opportunity, I'll gladly make both you and Nicholas experience the same pain I endured. Oh, look at you, Lillian. Holding onto your grudges and seeking revenge. It's truly remarkable. But guess what? It won't make a difference because I happen to be your son. Sooner or later, I'll find a way to get my hands on your vast wealth. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hold on a moment. Let's not jump to conclusions. I want you to know that I'm currently pregnant. And when my child is born, they will rightfully inherit my assets. However, 
since you're still my biological child, I might consider giving you some money out of pity. But don't get ahead of yourself. You'll be surprised when you hear the amount you'll get. <laughs> what? How is it even possible that you're pregnant? And let's get one thing straight. How much money are you planning to give me? Well, after careful consideration, I've come to a grand decision. I'll generously present you with a whopping $5 as a token of my appreciation for all the time you spent mocking me and treating me like dirt. Goodness, what a generous soul I am. <laughs> what did you say? Five measly bucks? Are you out of your mind? I really want to punch you in the face right now. You're just as loony and self-centered as you were the last time we spoke. What's the matter? You're so consumed by anger that you resort to violence? How utterly pathetic. Five dollars is the absolute maximum you can expect. So stop your whining. You should be grateful that I'm even considering leaving you anything in my will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important meeting to attend, so I won't be available to hear your nonsense any longer. Actually, you know what? I've decided to spare myself from any further contact with you. I'll just go ahead and block your number right now, so you won't be able to contact me again. Goodbye. Is this Lillian's phone number? I have terrible news. It's about Dean, our son. You are Nicholas? What about our son? Something happened to him? Listen carefully. Nicholas has been kidnapped. It turns out he's been associating with some criminals and they've discovered that I'm a director in a large company. Now they're demanding a ransom of $500,000 in cash, threatening to harm or even kill him in the most gruesome ways imaginable. Lillian, we have to take immediate action. You must do everything in your power to save our son. What? Are you serious? Our son has been kidnapped and the kidnappers are demanding $500,000 for his release? Is this some kind of sick joke or is this actually happening? Are you dumb? Do you think I have enough time to joke around with you? I'm being dead serious. You need to do something to help our son or you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You're his mom, so why don't you be useful for once and help me out? You're the director of a big company, right? So why don't you help with paying the ransom and get Dean back? So let me get this straight. You and Dean abandoned me. And now when it's a matter of saving Dean, I'm the one who has to bear all the responsibility? Is that how it works? How dare you say that? Dean is your own flesh and blood and he's in desperate need of your help. You can't simply push all the responsibility onto me. I didn't give birth to him, you did. It's your duty as his mother to take action and help him. Don't be so heartless and cold-hearted. Well, considering that you're the owner of a major company, I assume that paying such an amount shouldn't be a problem, right? Oh, of course. It's not a problem for me at all. Don't forget that my company is even larger than yours. However, I must admit that I've already put a significant portion of my funds in investments. That's why I don't have that much money available now. Seriously, I don't see any reason why I should help you or Dean. He literally got himself kidnapped because he was hanging out with the wrong crowd. If he had been a better person, he wouldn't have been abducted. Enough with the blame game. What's done is done and dwelling on it won't change a thing. We must focus on the most pressing matter at hand, which is rescuing our son from this life-threatening situation. It's a matter of life and death. If you don't act quick, our son's life will be lost. Fine, I'll give you half of the ransom which amounts to 250,000, all right? However, it will be your responsibility to handle the remaining portion. Does that sound like a deal to you? Where and when can we meet up? Finally, you're acting more like a human and not some kind of evil witch. I'll text you and time and address, but don't forget, you must go alone. Dress inconspicuously and wear glasses. We need to be hyper vigilant because those criminals have surveillance everywhere. Our utmost priority is to avoid drawing any attention from them. Fine, I will. Just give me the time and address. The sooner the better. Listen up. Are you Dean's mother? Yes, and... Who are you? You're not my son. Are you using Dean's phone to text me? That's right. I need you to understand something very clearly. We have your son in our possession, and we're waiting for you to deliver the money. Don't even think about playing games with us. Time is running out. Every passing moment brings your son's life closer to the edge. Chop chop, the clock is ticking, and his fate hangs by a thread. Did you see the picture we just sent you? Look at how miserable your son is after enduring our severe torture. Remember, for every minute that passes, your son will have to endure more beatings from us. 
So be wise and give us what we need right now. $500,000 in fresh cash. Well, nice acting. But you're not fooling anyone anymore. The show is over. So why don't you take off your mask now and reveal yourself? What do you mean, what show? Do you want to see your son lose his life? Let us send you another picture of Dean with a knife close to his neck. Let's see how you handle that. I told you, I already know everything. So stop with your acting. It means nothing to me. What are you babbling about? Do you seriously not care about your son's life? What kind of a mother are you? Or do you think we're just all talk and no bite? Do we need to send you one of your son's fingers so that you can understand the seriousness of the matter? Spare me the theatrics. How long are you going to plan to deceive me? Everything is exposed. You and your dad's evil scheme has been brought to light. If you come clean now, I might go easy on you. But I promise you, I won't let you or your father get away with this. I've already reported everything to the police, and they're on their way to arrest you both. So, so you already knew everything. But how? Our plan was foolproof. There's no way you could have known. I must admit, you deserve some credit for devising such a devious and wicked plan. However, your scheme didn't go unnoticed. I had a hunch that something seemed off. So I had my loyal bodyguard accompany me. Right when your dad was about to attack me, my vigilant bodyguard quickly intervened and stopped him. Now, your father is fleeing like a coward. But rest assured, the police will apprehend him soon enough. That monster needs to be put behind bars, where he truly belongs. Oh no. Did you... Did our plan really fall apart? How could this have happened? Dad ruined everything. I knew I couldn't trust that old man. He's the reason our plan went down the drain. How could you come up with such a heinous scheme? I'm your mother for crying out loud. Your dad told me everything. Both of you plotted to stage a kidnapping with you playing the victim. And to my horror, I learned that when I arrived at the designated location, your father was supposed to ambush me, assault me with a baseball bat, and make off with all the money. You got that correct. Dad was gonna hit you, but not just anywhere. We already plan to hit you right at your belly to make you lose your baby in order to make sure that I'm the only person who will inherit all of your vast fortune. Isn't that genius? I know it is because I was the one who came up with that idea. Dean, you are beyond monstrous. Both you and your father deserve to spend the rest of your lives rotting in jail. Was it all for the sake of money? Is that the only thing that matters to you? Money and nothing else. What other choice do we have? Dad is going to be kicked out of his company and go to jail. And it's all because of his new wife, Anastasia. She's having an affair with his vice director. And they've planned this whole thing out to make sure that Dad loses his job. Anastasia has been whispering in his ear, convincing him to make bad investments and commit financial crimes that have ruined the company's reputation. Now her lover is about to take over as director. And they're going to celebrate their victory together while Dad is about to be put in jail. Do you honestly believe this is fair to both me and my father? I was meant to inherit my father's company. It was my dream. Now, that dream is on the verge of being destroyed completely. Ah, the sweet taste of betrayal, as they say. It's like watching a captivating TV drama unfold before my eyes. And here I am, enjoying the spectacle with popcorn in hand, witnessing how you and your dad orchestrate the downfall of your own lives. Oh, how I've eagerly awaited this moment for so long. What? How can you say such things? You're not even innocent. In fact, this is all your fault. If you hadn't divorced dad, none of this would have happened. We could still be a happy family, just like in the old days. You need to take responsibility for your actions and help me and your ex-husband through this mess you've created. Listen, mom. If you really loved me, you would send me the money I need to get out of this country. I'm your son for crying out loud. I'm not asking for much, just $500,000. That's all I need to start a new life with dad. You and your father tried to get rid of me like I was a plague. And now you have the audacity to come crawling back to me? You disgust me. I'm severing all ties with you and your father. And I will focus on living for myself and my child from now on. You and your father will be nothing but a bad memory to me. Get lost. You can run all you want, but the police are after you and I will make sure that you pay for every crime you committed against me. Mom, I beg of you, please find it in your heart to spare me this time. I am fully aware of the mistakes I've made, and I deeply regret them. Forget about my dad. He's foolish for divorcing someone as amazing as you. Mom, please, I'm your son. 
and I need you now more than ever. Mom, please listen to me. Please understand the desperation in my voice. Are you there, Mom? At long last, the police managed to apprehend Dean and Nicholas. They confessed their guilt, begging for my mercy, but their pleas fell on deaf ears. The consequences of their actions caught up with them, and now they must endure a substantial prison sentence. It is a just punishment, fitting for the multitude of crimes they committed. Amidst it all, my business continues to flourish, bringing me immense joy. As I embark on this new chapter of life, I find solace in the fact that my child is growing within me, a precious blessing. I eagerly anticipate the arrival of my little angel, ready to embrace the wonders of motherhood. From this point forward, I'm determined to surround myself only with individuals who genuinely appreciate my worth. I will prioritize those who uplift and support me, creating a nurturing environment for both myself and my child.